much as you try to bury it, the truth is out there. Although still a bit too out there for NASA. The long and the short of it is that no, I'm afraid, no aliens right now. Released today, NASA's year-long study into unidentified anomalous phenomenon, aka aliens, coming up empty. The NASA independent study team did not find any evidence that UAP have an extraterrestrial origin. UFO watchers still waiting to feel the love. I bring you love. Most sightings apparently just drones, planes or weather balloons. There's also meteorites, stuff like space junk or space rocks falling into our atmosphere. So there's heaps of really cool stuff happening up there. Um, a lot of it isn't aliens, unfortunately. But NASA is not giving up. The mission of NASA is to find out the unknown. Whatever we find, we're going to tell you. Others not convinced. Former intelligence official turned whistleblower David Grush addressing Congress in July. Do you believe that our government is in possession of UAPs? Uh, absolutely, based on interviewing uh, over 40 witnesses over four years. And, and, and where? I know the exact locations, and, and those locations were provided to the Inspector General. It comes as NASA's James Webb Telescope this week discovered a new planet and potentially signs of life. So K218b has a really interesting atmosphere and it's actually got chemicals in it like methane and carbon dioxide and we find these chemicals on Earth. In fact, we're made of a lot of those chemicals. So could these be our new intergalactic neighbours? Look, this planet is about 1,000 trillion Ks away, so it's certainly not our plan B. So we better start looking after this planet, hey? In the meantime, we can't rule out that alien technology is so advanced they could just be hiding amongst us. Well, with us to talk all things outer space is the man that Michael Hing calls space hunk, but I He's am a professional, attractive. so <laughs> to me, please welcome Professor Alan Duffy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Professor, NASA says no to aliens, but come on, you can tell us. What do you really think? Are they out there? I think the aliens very likely are out there. Uh, there's many, many habitable worlds that we're aware of in our galaxy. It seems inconceivable that they're all empty, but just like NASA, I have to agree that there are no aliens that have visited us, or at least certainly no evidence for it. OK, Prof, let's get down to brass tacks. This new planet, right? K218b. I mean, what a great name. Um, <laughs> that's going to take off. Could you think of a better name for a new planet? <laughs> Look, it's, it's named after Kepler-2, the mission that discovered it. It's a great naming convention. And right now, this is one of the best locations we have discovered for the potential for life beyond Earth. And that is going to get a lot of attention from a lot of telescopes in the coming years. It's obviously massive news. The PM said that we would get a public holiday if the Matildas won the World Cup. I'm wondering, in other sectors in, you know, in the world, do, would, like, if you find a new planet, is there a similar deal? <laughs> <laughs> we, we have now found thousands of alien worlds. You don't even get a press release, usually definitely too early, to get a public holiday. Yeah, but Professor, jumping on the back of Susie's question, when NASA finds a new planet, is it like scoring a goal in soccer? Does everyone just rip their tops over their head, just run around like, <laughs> we've done it, we've done it, and just embrace each other? What, what do you think an observatory is like, Matt? <laughs> just, just like, no, we, 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 no it, it doesn't get that exciting, I'm afraid. It's, it's not that good. But, You're crushing dreams. Um, sure, just, just for you, I promise. Next planet, next planet I find, I will, I will rip my top off. Get and, the kid off. The get the kid oh. off. Give the people what they want. <laughs> Come on. Let's see the Duffy rig. Someone start a PhD. Oh, sorry, right? sorry, Professor, this is so unprofessional. I think we just finish up by asking the real questions, and I'll take this. Are we getting any closer to finding planets that right. can support human life? <laughs> Ab absolutely. We now know of thousands of alien worlds. We think that there must be four billion Earth-like worlds around sun-like stars in our galaxy alone. So watch this space. We are searching as never before. The truth is out there and we will know it one way or other very soon. That's good enough for me. I'm going to take my top off and run around the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Alan Duffy, I apologise for my colleagues. Uh, I think our HR department will be in touch. Thank you very much for your time this evening. Thanks for having me again. Thank you, Space Hunt. Still on. Still on. I just got back. That was a quick run. <laughs>